Evercoat's premium fillers and putties are designed to offer ease of use, maximum performance, and long-term repair holdout. The following process will explain how to repair a dent with Evercoat's premium dent repair products. Start with soap and water to remove waterborne contaminants such as dirt, mud, tree sap, and road salt. Now use a solvent cleaner to remove wax, grease, and silicone. The presence of these contaminants can result in adhesion failure and feather edge lifting. When straightening metal, sometimes it is necessary to weld studs in order to pull out the damage. A vast majority of the time, the entire damaged area is grounded to bare metal and the studs are attached. To minimize the amount of damage to the factory corrosion protection, grind an area just large enough for the welder to make contact. This process does not cause as much damage to the factory corrosion protection as grinding the entire repair area. This will also help to control the repair size. With the paint intact, it is easier to visually measure the accuracy of the repair process. Once the metal is straightened, remove only the base coat and clear coat from the repair area with 80 grit while keeping as much of the factory primer and e-coat intact as possible. Proper paint removal techniques will help to preserve the factory corrosion protection. By maintaining control of the repair size from the beginning of the process, this will save time and materials while also minimizing the paint blend area for the repair overall. The repair size can also be controlled by matching the proper size tool to the repair. For larger repairs, begin by removing only the clear coat and base coat while keeping the factory primer and e-coat intact. The recommendation is for a dual action sander to be used with 80 grit to remove the clear coat and base coat. Keep the DA sander as flat as possible and remove the clear coat and base coat evenly. For minor repairs such as paint chips and small dents that are less than 1 8 of an inch, or three millimeters in depth, use 180 grit to prepare the area. Continue sanding until the surface defect is removed. If the defect extends through the clear coat, continue to remove the clear coat and base coat. Then feather edge the perimeter with 180 grit in preparation for Evercoat Premium Putty. Feather edge the perimeter of the repair with 80 grit on a dual action sander. This will create a proper feather edge for the filler to minimize the chance for pinholes and leave a consistent feather edge above and below the filler after the repair has been sanded. Any bare metal exposed at this point will still have some factory corrosion protection. Remove any remaining dust with clean compressed air or an alcohol wipe. Prior to dispensing the filler, Mix the product to ensure an even consistency. Be sure to also knead the cream hardener. Use a non-porous surface to mix on. The use of cardboard is not recommended. Traditional polyester fillers mix at a 50 to 1 ratio or 2% by weight using a cream hardener. To visually measure a 50 to 1 mix ratio or 2%, Dispense a 4-inch puddle of filler on the mixing board. Apply a 4-inch bead of cream hardener from edge to edge across the center. Larger puddles require more cream hardener. An 8-inch puddle requires one full 8-inch bead of hardener from edge to edge, plus an additional 4-inch bead. If you need to adjust the viscosity of the filler, add premium flowable putty to reach the desired thickness. When mixing, use firm downward pressure to press out any potential air pockets and ensure an even blend. When initially applying Evercoat Premium fillers to the repair area, avoid applying too much material all at once. A common mistake is to apply too much material in a single application. This traps air and does not wet the surface out for proper adhesion. The recommended application method is to apply a thin coat of filler to the repair with even firm pressure. 
This will wet the surface and minimize the risk of pinholes. Then, build the area to the desired thickness. Slightly overbuild the repair area and then taper the edges of the material just slightly inside of the paint feather edge. This will make sanding the repair faster. The recommended final thickness should not exceed 1 quarter inch or 6 millimeters after sanding. Allow 15 to 20 minutes for sand time. To speed up the sanding process for larger repairs, use a DA sander with 80 grit to help break open the surface and rough sand the area to contour. Avoid sanding into the paint with anything coarser than 80 grit. This will reduce the potential for sand scratch swelling and ensure a consistent feather edge. For smaller repairs, begin the initial sanding with 80 grit by hand. Once the repair begins to reach the desired shape and contour, apply Evercoat Spray Dry Guide Coat number 721 and continue sanding. After reaching the desired shape, remove the dust with clean compressed air or use an alcohol wipe if you prefer. After all of the dust is removed, inspect for low spots and pinholes. Feather edge the perimeter of the repair and into the clear with 180 grit on a DA sander. This will remove the straight line scratches from the block sanding process. Be sure to remove all straight line scratches from the clear coat. Now the repair is ready for the application of Evercoat Premium Putty. The key benefit of this step is to subsidize the primer process and eliminate the need for heavy primer applications. Mix Evercoat Premium Putties at a 50 to 1 ratio, or 2%, just like the filler. This can be achieved by dispensing a 4-inch puddle of premium putty and applying a 4-inch bead of cream hardener from edge to edge. For a 2-inch puddle of premium putty, dispense a 1-inch bead of cream hardener. For the putty application, we will wet the entire repair using the same technique as we did for the filler. Apply the premium putty out over the clear coat feather edge. This seals off the solvent sensitive base coat and helps to eliminate bullseyes or ripples. After reaching the desired build, create the feather edge with the spreader before the putty begins to set, just as shown with the filler application. Allow 15 to 20 minutes for sanding and use a DA sander with 180 grit to break the surface open for larger repair areas. For smaller repair areas, block sand the repair with 180 grit by hand. After the initial sanding, apply Evercoat Spray Dry Guide Coat number 721 to help locate any high or low spots in the repair. After the repair is sanded to final contour, use the DA sander with 180 grit and lightly sand out any straight line scratches from the clear coat and gently remove any straight line scratches from the putty. Be sure to keep the DA sander flat. Remove the sanding dust with clean compressed air or use an alcohol wipe. Avoid using lacquer thinner or slow solvents. After the dust is removed, Take a moment and inspect the repair for pinholes or straight line scratches from block sanding. Resand the area with the DA sander and 180 grit if any straight line scratches are seen. If any pinholes are seen, apply a skim coat of Evercoat Premium Putty to the affected area. Allow 15 to 20 minutes, then lightly sand the areas with 180 grit by hand or with a DA sander. If the area was hand sanded, be sure to follow up with a DA sander to avoid leaving any straight line scratches. After sanding the area, use clean compressed air to remove any remaining dust and reinspect to make sure the area is ready to prime. Apply primer surfacer according to your paint manufacturer's recommendations.